New information now on the tragic deaths of a boy and his mother who were just walking to school. Police say a school bus turning left onto a busy road fatally struck the pair. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the story from Mamaroneck in Westchester County. Distraught family members visited the scene on busy Mamaroneck Avenue, where this school bus struck and killed a kindergarten student and his 43-year-old mother. It happened as scores of adults and children were walking towards Mamaroneck Avenue School. There were dozens of kids around. It's very congested there every morning. There was a couple of people running around screaming. John Hunter was driving home about 8.30 from church when he saw the immediate aftermath, including EMTs tending to the mother and the young victim lying in the road. You could see that it was a horrific accident and catastrophic. Mamaroneck police say it happened as a special education bus carrying several students turned left from New Street onto the avenue. Police Chief Sandra DeRuza says the victims were in the crosswalk and had the walk signal. So motorists are supposed to yield to pedestrians that are in the crosswalk. So the way that intersection works, we're still investigating. We're still kept looking over video footage to see exactly what happened. Horrifying. School is almost over. There was no reason for this to even happen. But I'm heartbroken. It's very sad. Almost the end of the school year. Yes, that makes it even worse. We've got what, two, three days left? An investigator from Royal Coach Lines visited the scene. Police say the bus driver was a 68 year old man from Mount Vernon. Cops say the driver gave a blood sample and is cooperating fully. At this point, no suspected criminality. They're terming this a tragic accident. The mayor told me the village will review safety measures and traffic patterns. This part of Mamaroneck has a lot of new housing, new businesses. Traffic is way up. Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And Mamaroneck schools will have grief counselors available for students and staff as they process this tragedy.